It looks like leather, feels like leather, but no, it's not traditional leather. It's Banofi, a plant-based leather alternative made almost entirely of banana waste. The company that I founded is a climate tech startup that takes banana crop waste from farms and upcycles it and converts it into a sustainable leather alternative. CEO Janali Modi founded her company Banofi only a year and a half ago while still a full-time grad student at Yale University. Her goal, solve multiple problems with one solution. First, by tackling the excessive amount of banana crop waste found in her native country of India. The banana plant only fruits once. So every time it fruits, the entire tree has to be cut and replanted. And this is just a lot of waste. India is the largest producer of bananas, and that's about 120 million tons of waste every year. And second, by creating a product that challenges the leather industry. It isn't as durable as animal leather. So we've been very conscious about designing something that will biodegrade more than a material that will last forever. Bonofi leather isn't 100% biodegradable, 20% still composed of synthetic materials. You're trying to reduce the number of added materials and synthetics in the product. How do you hope to do that? It is a process of finding alternatives that naturally occur that like plant-based dyes from flowers, for example. The focus going forward is to make it 100% bio-based and biodegradable. The global market for vegan leather is the biggest it's ever been, valued at almost $40 billion in 2022. But some experts, like circular economy professor Alicia Garmalevich, says most vegan leather alternatives are made of plastics. Some believe they're just as harmful to the environment as leather. So it's plastic that won't biodegrade, that accumulates and creates microplastics. We need other solutions that are good for the planet, that can biodegrade after end of life. And Bonofi is one of those solutions. Jan Lowe, CEO of the luxury bag brand Lowe & Sons, is currently in the process of developing a bag with Bonofi, connecting with the startup's commitment to innovation. So why do you think your mission aligns with Janali's? She's not taking the shortcut to use PVC, for example, to like make it feel better. She's really exploring these really innovative ways and different combinations of like natural uh, materials to make that feel really nice and premium. Janali says that while Bonofi might not solve climate change by itself, picking a space and driving change is still important progress. Sometimes it's just a step in the right direction. It's not a perfect solution and it'll take time to get there. So invest in some of those semi-perfect solutions so they can make it perfect. Maya Eaglin, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.